Good day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me once again and um, we're going to be playing a racing game called Travel Through Time. It's a homebrew, so Travel Through Time, Volume 1, Northern Lights, on the ZX Spectrum, 128k. This has been published by Zosia Entertainment in 2021. Now it's a bit special this as I um, try and do my uh, keys but let you make your own decisions so it might be a rather long review. Now you can have six playable cards but they're unlockable as you go on this adventure, you're separated through storyline and cutscenes to the chip music. You start off in the 1950s, you must race your way to the 60s, 70s and 80s. There's lots and lots of different stages to get through. Uh, different modes, challenge mode, time trial, duel and checkpoint which it will throw at you in order. Uh, and there's night and winter racing as well. So the best thing about this, it boasts, it's got night and winter racing. Now I've already looked at this on a live stream, I don't know if you were there. So let's see how this game plays, but already I can tell you, in my own opinion, it's absolutely brilliant. Now other games that Zosia did, now this is uh, this first bit here is um, just getting used to the cars. There's no time limit, it's just get to the end. So look at this thing. Yeah, other games that Zosia did, so we take this thing away, low and high gears are Bonnie and Clyde, which is great, Drift, just a gal and valley of rain. So Zosia Entertainment are a quality outfit, look at this, and um, they specialise in doing absolutely fantastic games. Now how did they get this out of the spectrum 128k? Right, look at the distance on the left, there's a yellow arrow going across which will tell us how close we are to the finish. But this is a, a first early stage, we're in the 1950s and trying to get to the end. There's nothing much that can uh, kill you here. Good, the car's not going to take any damage, just get to the end in your own time. Good stuff. Now, you're not going to complete this really quickly. Uh, if you're doing it on emulation, the advantage you've got is you've got save states, I suppose. But it is available on tape as well from Zosia's uh, site. Boom. Right, keep going. Good engine sounds, fantastic frame rate on this one. Uh, really impressive game, but um, plays good too. I'm having to ease a bit around the uh, corners. Right, there's a bloke on a tractor. Here we go, storyline. Good morning, Uncle Bjorn, he says. Oh, hi, Sven. Where are you going so early? Well, I'm going to the races, basically. But I heard the guys are racing on the old road on weekends. I want to try it. Racing, oh, Sven, oh, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, see, he's a boredom man. That's because he's in a tractor. You can't win any races in a tractor, unless it's tractor racing. If you've won a, a tractor race, then let me know. But we're on the start of our adventure. Look at the car bobbing up and down. Great. And off we go. Go! Boom, boom, boom. As we take the car out now. I don't think there's any time limit on this one either. Just get to the end and then we might reach some cool cats, some cool kids, and we get into some kind of racing league. So just get there. Zipping along at mighty speed. Broom, broom, broom as the car goes. Watch out for hazards, but we're not at home to Mr. Boo Boo. Stoom, speed, 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 speed. Oh, train! Oh my god! See, I forgot about that train. I knew about that train from the from a previous go, but I forgot all about it. Oh no, right, let's get there. So basically, what I did wrong there is you've got to stop at the um, the crossing or else you're doomed. And I got doomed, so I think we've got to start all over again. So anyway, not a bad thing. We can get used to how the car drives again, but let's just storm through to the tractor boy and then away we go. Not quite sure how many lives you get on this. I think sometimes it just, just ends depending on what stage you're on. But I think at this point you can have as many goes as you want to. It's all a bit monochrome, but that's okay. I think it does change colour every now and again, sort of like uh, the tracks and the background. Uh, I'm quite keen to see the six playable cars. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I bet they've got some cool things in there. Moves at a good rate, this thing. Good, good speed. I think uh, a lot of the... Um, the skill on this is your ability to overtake the cars on what is quite a narrow road, it has to be said. Car handles not too bad. Be interesting to see if the other cars handle are uh, similar. It looks a bit like Volkswagen Beetles, they're not Volkswagen Beetles, they're some big hulks from the 50s that you don't want to bump into. Right, there's the tractor man. We're going to have a conversation. We don't want this conversation. Can I skip past this? I'll try to. Oh, come on, let me skip through. It's not let me skip through. We've had this conversation before, tractor man. Good, right, we got out of that. So, remember this time, stop at a train crossing, both in the game and real life, because you might be flattened by a big locomotive super train. Right, I'm a little bit nervous now. Boom. Keep going. Right, I, I'll be okay. Right, there's the first one. There's train not there, so I've got to be wary now. So maybe 
maybe slow down a bit just get where we just want the thing to go across and then we're uh, there where is it distance on so you can see we're about halfway along the, uh, the circuit I'm just poodling along so I want to break in time maybe I can go a bit quicker than this go 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 I highly recommend this game 2021 if this had come out back in the day we would have well we wouldn't have believed it it'd be like living in the future it even it even smashes wet Mans to pieces this with the, the quality of it but as I said do check out all Zosia's games they're all quality Bonnie and Clyde a great platformer Drift um, I find that a bit hard to control Drift but it looks excellent this is better than all of those there we go there's the train good Just a Gal which is like a, a motorbike racing game and Valley of Rage which is a cool um, adventure style game good right and it's an action adventure game really it's not a text adventure Right, so I've got past that, so I should get quite near the finish now. You see the yellow arrow is getting near the uh, the dotted line near the end. That means near the end, near the finish. And then and then the action, the actual game should actually begin. So we're already about six minutes in. <laughs> I haven't actually got to the real game yet. Here we go. Now this is, this is where the meat of the game is. Some excellent cutscenes and music. That guy's shown us over there. There's a couple of girls. What are they going to say? Hi, girls, on your yellow brick. Hello. I would like to race. Is it possible? Says that goof. There's some girl there. Hi. You can come to the right place. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, baby. Oh, he said yeah instead. Okay. What's your name? Nick. No, Sven Larsen. Okay, Sven. First there will be a qualifying time trial and then the main release. Do you know about the starting fee? Um, six pounds? No, I don't know really. I, I haven't heard of it. How much, dude? A hundred kroner for a whole event. And the winner, we start in Sweden, by the way, and received a third of the whole amount. I think we're Sweden. Well, I have to come next time. Uh, I think I only have 50. So that's the end of the game, is it? Oh, no, it isn't. Wait, simmer down. Drive now, you'll just owe me. Oh, thanks. I thought that'd be the end of the game now, but she's, she's putting up the money. So sh this woman is the love interest of the game, I think. Her name's Irma. Um, if you've got any questions, ask her. Right. So this is the 1950s. We're on a time trial, and we need to beat 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Good luck, us. Right. So this is the first of the challenges. Let's groove. It's all about getting past traffic. I don't think there's any trains to get past on this bit. Just make sure you're in the right gear. And I'm not talking about clothes, I'm talking about the gear of the car. What are you thinking about this one? Are you liking it? I'm blown away straight away as soon as I played the thing. And the good thing is, well, the good thing is this is called Volume 1. That means there must be, is it going to be a Volume 2 in the pipeline? I'd like to try and finish this, but I definitely need to use a save state, so it's going to get a bit tricky at some stage. But we'll just see how far I can get. This might be, um, already I'm thinking it might be the longest review ever on the ZX Spectrum. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure how long Stunt Car Racer was, but this, this is going to be quite big. Um, right, okay. If you're here for the whole trip, then well done you. If, you. if you're liking the channel and want it to continue as we pick up more of these gems, please consider uh, subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to help it a huge amount and more, so I can go full time on this thing, then uh, there's memberships. Also, free tiers of memberships. If you click on the join button, uh, then it will tell you a bit more about that. So thank you to the members already. You are heroes. Thank you. Right, 1 minute 15. The arrow is sort of like in the middle there. I think we're making good time as we crash into a load of telegraph poles. Yeah. Isn't it always the way? You're making good time and crash into a load of telegraph poles. We've heard that story many, many times before. Look at the horizon, it's quite a big uh, detailed horizon rather than a thin strip which a lot of games have. It's not moving too much, it's not scrolling left and right, it goes up and down ever so slightly which is clever. How have they done that? Brilliant. I don't know how they've managed to get this game working as quickly as it has done. So there's some genius on work, some voodoo magic to keep the speed up with the amount of stuff moving on the screen at the same time. Look, there was four cars there, so it's controlling all of those, the scenery, the sound, the, the speedo thing on, in the middle, the distance-ometer, uh, well the time in this case, um, absolutely outstanding. You see this foreground there, there's trees coming past us also. Uh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. The cars aren't jerky as you go nearer to them. I mean obviously they've got graphics of different sizes they're programmed in, but it's, it's, it's smooth. It's smooth, baby. 26 seconds, I think we've got this. I've squeezed through, all oh, bashed into them, lose a bit of speed. I think we've got it, haven't we? 22, I've been caught in a bit of a bumper car ride here. 20 seconds. 
as long as I don't stop the car, should be okay. Let's keep it around there. There we go. That's it. We've about 17, 16, 17 seconds to spare. So that bowls really well. Oh, please do. Mary, did you know it's the newcomer? That's me. What about him? He's so pretty. I am actually. I'm quite pretty. Don't you think? Uh, are you serious? I think he's a little, you know, rustic. Oh, what? What's that? What's up with that girl? Um, well, he's really not from the city. Let's see how good he is in the race. Yeah, I'm an Irma fan. This woman could do one. In any case, not my turn. Oh, she's blind. She's blind as a bat. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, look. Go comb your hair, girl. You silly Wally. Right, we're in a challenge now. Be not the last to continue. So, to get past this stage, I need to beat one car. Looks like we're starting in ninth place. You can see on the bottom left. So just guess past one of them. There was a slightly different car ahead of me. Looks like some kind of hatchback. I presume we're still in the 1950s. That's where uh, Marty McFly went back to. Right. Johnny be good. Right, so if we finish here, we, we've qualified. Just stay ahead of these boys. The more we get past, the more of a safety margin we've got. Just slowly getting past that car. So seventh. Good. Just don't finish ninth and you're through. Boomer. I think we've got this, haven't we? Just concentrate. Doesn't seem to be any super sharp bends at this point. Um, sometimes I'm feathering the throttle, so keep hitting on and off really quickly with, if you're doing keyboard with your finger. Up, 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 up. It's easier to do that on keyboard than joystick. Looks like we might have another one of these dudes for sixth place if I can just get around there. But we're halfway, we're halfway through. I don't want to risk anything stupid and lose speed and the people behind me come past me. So it might be worth just consolidating this position unless we get easy ones sick. There's two cars together which could slow me down unless I get a bit lucky around here or they stay distance apart. Could get it on the outside. That's worked out quite well. As long as he stays away from me. Good. Fourth place. Great. That's great. So definitely not going to come last here. Unless uh, this is a big calamity, or we get hit by a train or a landing airplane, which we shouldn't do. Looks quite straight to the finish there. Sp fast bend. Didn't kick up any dust, but I don't think you can kick up dust in this game. Irma's got to impress with this. Look at that, Irma. Please say thank good, Irma. Here I come. There's the gang. Congratulations to our today's winner, Jonas Norber. Well, that's not me. Hi, Irma. Oh, why is it going on with this jo Johannes person? It's me, 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 me. Look at me. Oh, who's this dude? I want to win the next race, of course, to start off with. Good luck. I don't. Hope you crash into a tree. I also have to single out a newcomer. Now you're talking. Sven. Although he did not get on the podium today, he showed a good race. Thanks. I'm flattered. Yeah, man. I think we've got some kind of love triangle going on soon. That uh, Johannes person's not going to be happy that Irma, his girl, or his girl he likes, is, is having a look at me. Yeah, good. Anyway, he hasn't got involved yet, so we've got checkpoints to get past to now, so we're checkpoint racing. Checkpoint Charlie. Right, the colours change, we've got a yellow sky and we've got cyan. That's quite nice on the eye. As long as they don't use a red-green combo, because as I always say, red on green should never be seen. Oh, look at the checkpoint there. 24 seconds. That's not too much time to play with. Come on, Nick. Come on. Let's just keep going. 19 seconds. Just keep on the throttle. You can do this thing. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 12 seconds left to the checkpoint. Rapidly going down. Uh, see that red flag there? We're aiming for that. Oh, God. Getting held up by traffic. So you need to be a bit lucky with the traffic in this game. Four seconds. Oh, dear. Boom, right, so we've got that with three seconds to go as we go to the next checkpoint. So getting a bit slim here on the, the ground. Um, don't want to be involved in too many collisions or then it's game over big nose, as we know. I do like this colour scheme, uh, cyan and yellow. Uh, they've checkered it a little bit, you can see on the road, to make it a little bit easier on the eyes and distinguish it from the actual cars. Look at all the shading on the car as well, when it goes left uh, to right there. Um, they've taken a really a lot of time over this game. I imagine it was played, tested to death. Went over that checkpoint with eight seconds left, so gradually gained another five seconds from somewhere. I hope this is the last checkpoint, because I start to get a bit, a bit nervous on these games as well. I, I so want to finish this game. I so do. I'm not sure I'm going to do it on uh, this uh, go. 
Um, these um, reviews, as you know, if you've been here a while, are not always about expert and gameplay. They're about how you would experience the game in your first or second go, and would there have been enough there to uh, want to play it again. Um, you know, I'm seeing this as an adult for the first time, but if I saw this to the kid, I'd have been on this for weeks. I probably would have missed school and um, not got any qualifications and come out as a dimbo. Not like now. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, finished. Good, we've made it. Yeah, awesome game. I, I, I just want to play this all day, every day. But I can't. I haven't got time. Hey, novice. Oh, look, he's getting jealous now. I'm Sven, you twit. I know. I want to ask you, why are you here? He's jealous about that Irma situation. I just want to race. I'm not bothered about Irma, really. No one knows you here. It's suspicious, nincompoop. Because I think you put... Yes, there we go. Here's the, real... Here's the real story. I come here to race. No more goals. What can you prove? So far, you don't drive very well. Well... Don't, why don't we have a duel? Yeah, well done, Sven. Mind you, this is not my idea. Yeah, I bet. He's so insecure. He's so insecure. What if I win? Well, we'll get along somehow. Oh, well, I'm going to beat your bottom. That's what I'm going to do. So this this go is a duel where I must beat that, that Johannes idiot. So it's Magenta Sky. Cyan. We can get away with that. I've got lights on the car now, you can see. Just ahead there. And he's, he's buzzing off. Right, oh minute. Now look at the uh, the distance on the bottom right. He's represented by the red arrow. I'm represented by the yellow arrow. And he's, he's oh god, he's going to win, isn't he? He's, he's disappeared. Oh, there he is. We've got him back again. Good. Let's try and find a way past him in his, in his hulk. Uh, god, we're past him already at a third distance. We just need to keep him behind us now. And it, then it's, uh, yeah. Hopefully he leaves the town and we get to go out with Irma and push her silly friend in a hole. Yay! That it's it's the dream. Lots of lampposts here at either side. Who would race along here? So this is night racing, which is the same as oops, it's the same as day racing, except we've got these uh, these funny lights ahead of us. I'm quite interested to see what the winter racing is uh, like. Car handles the same as it would do in any other uh, style of racing. Well, apart from the winter one, it might skid around the place a little bit. Yeah, this game. Yeah, I've beaten him in your face, Johannes. Good. He has to do a full fit now. Hey man, did you get him? Oh, I, I sent some skullduggery here. It's our own business. Hmm, right, okay. Time limit 150. We're on to another time trial. Wish me luck, folks. Wish me luck. I'll keep going until I, um, um, well, inevitably fail, but I'm doing quite well. I think it's probably about my third go of the thing. Good stuff. Good stuff indeedy. Drive. He drove all night. It's green now, but not no red to be seen. So uh, green, red on green, never to be seen. We've got green and cyan. We've got a green road. Just keep driving. Keep your foot down. Round the bends we go. Turbo. No, no turbos. This is the 1950s. 1 minute 28. Lots of traffic now all of a sudden to try and hold me up. This could get a bit frustrating. I've got to find my way around. I don't know how... Um, because I'm trying to go as quick as I can. I don't know how if, how, if you go slowly, uh, how if you can get away with that. But it seems to be constantly three or four cars on the track to try and uh, get around. No oncoming cars, well, so far anyway, that I can see. So it could be a lot more difficult than it really is. Stay on target. Stay on target in the green car of doom. Right, we, uh, we don't get weather conditions, so it doesn't rain, but that's asking a little bit much, because, you know, it's already doing a lot with 128k already. What can you do on a PC with 128k? Well, maybe open a window. Uh, that's about it, really. It's certainly impressive stuff. So, basically, you do your own gears. All you've got is neutral, low, and high. It's not too bad. It's not like you have to go through about four or five gears. So there's no, there's no option here to do automatic or manual gears, but that's not really needed when you've only got two gears uh, to look at. It's an impressive speed, but it's at a handleable speed. It's not like Vroom on the Commodore Amiga or anything, but you wouldn't expect it to be. It's a whole lot of fun here. 1950s racing. So we're going we're gonna to build a career, I suppose. He's starting off as a young chap in the 50s, and he goes all the way through to the 80s. So I don't know how the storyline ends. I expect if there's ever a volume 2, which hopefully there is, that might pick up in the 90s. Maybe he turns into a Formula 1 driver, what do you reckon? Go, go, go. What an adventure this is. Through time. 
Uh, volume 1 Northern Lights this is called makes me wonder possibly what volume 2 uh, could be called here 8 7 seconds 6 oh dear 5 4 oh dear I don't know what I'm going to do this am I? it's going to be very close 2 1 curses very very close then oh god well we've got enough for review really well let's keep going one last go always a good idea to keep going that is for sure right but keep your foot down keep your foot down there you fool these 50s cars have got a bit of weight to them I suppose it's the start of the uh, the muscle car period is it to a degree floor it floor it Oops, there's a bit of a, a bit of a bash there. Right, hang on. Come on, come on. Come on, Eileen. 128. 126. Ease off the accelerator a bit to get past that car. Uh, yeah, it's all about, as I say, avoiding collisions with the other cars, really, because you lose quite a lot of speed there. Can I get the free on the outside? No. Oh, man, how did he do that? Oh, that's just unfair. Oh, that's unfair, that is. How am I supposed to get past this mob? Yeah, I think I've uh, I think I've reached the point where um, normally I'd have to do save states, then go away, have a sleep, or have my lunch. So I've got to I've got to stay six about too much bother, apart from getting flattened by that train earlier on. It'd be good to see Bjorn the tractor man at some stage and race him. I think I could beat a tractor. Fifty six seconds, but I got so close last time. It's yeah, possible. Am I quicker than last time? It's a bit hard to tell. Possibly. Possibly. Keep going. Good. 1 foot 44, 40. It's going to be, I think it's going to be tight again no matter what. Oh, I've crashed into lampposts and lose a lot of speed. Lampposts are made of stern stuff in the 50s. Well, they are now, aren't they? Solid block concrete. Just, just over half a minute left. Get past that dude drifting wide. Oh god, they just if I can fit through the middle there. Can I? Oh, almost. That might have cost me. I think 23 seconds. I think I'm gonna fail again. Really, I look trying to kind of glance at that. It's so addictive this game. You just want to see. It's a very cheesy storyline to be fair, but I just want to see the cutscenes. Really, I want to see if Sven ever gets it with Irma or Johannes marries her and. Uh, I want to see what happens to her mate. Does she turn up again? Maybe. Eight seconds. Oh, this is sick. This, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it again, am I? Five. Four. Three. Oh, two. One. I'm right near the end again. Yes! Oh, thank God for that. With one second to go. Finished fifth or higher this time, so it's another challenge one. Uh, before, we only had to just prevent ourselves from coming last. This time, we need to get up into fifth place. Yellow sky, cyan. So we're in the cyan area. What's that car ahead of me there? Ninth place. So get to up to. Yeah, this is a challenge. Get up to fifth. They've buzzed off again. Not quite sure how long the stages are. So we're in the. Um, the stages have been quite similar in terms of the uh, where we are. I think that's like the woods. There's lots of telegraph poles either side. I think there might be some city stages later on if you can get to the 60s. If you've got to the 60s, let me know. But at the moment, we're still pretty much um, beached into the 50s. Hang on, hang on. So Sven's starting his racing career quite basic. That's a good overtaking manoeuvre. Good, so we're up into 8th place. But already we're almost halfway through the track. We need another three cars here. Another three cars, or it's Doomsville. Oh, we'll never see Irma again. We haven't paid her back for the race entrance fee, have we, really? Well, that's her fault. Don't trust guys that just come in from the, from the, from the farm, man. 7th. Two more positions, please, and then we've qualified. But, well, we're right near the end. Two cars quickly. We need two cars quickly. I've done too much wrong, apart from crashing into a load of telegraph poles or lampposts. Where are they? I don't know any cheats for this guy. Oh, yeah, seventh place. Needed fifth, come seventh. Stage failed. Try again. Well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Go. Need a good start. Looks like the cars you race against are quite random. So now it's starting to get a little bit tricky. The first of the challenging uh, stages. The last one took me two goes. This is my second attempt here. 
Just need to get past them cleanly. Any collisions, and you're probably not going to do it. Can I weave through there? No, I'm probably not going to do it now. Needed to get past those straight So There's two cars at the start. Get past them, and you'll be up into seven quite quickly. Uh, and then it leaves you two cars before the end. So really, I've just had one error. That's probably going to cost me, but I need to get past him now. Come on. Right, okay, seven. So two cars left, halfway through, possibly could do it. Need to find them. Need to find those cars. Oh, come on, man. Where are they? Yeah, oops. Yeah, that's probably taunted. Oh, dear. Irma's going to end up marrying that Johannes person. And, uh, yeah. There's one. Get past that. It's going to be sick. We're right near the end now. Where's this fifth up there? Come on, come on. Fifth. Come on. Oh, it was just there. Your position's sick. Target fifth. This is getting addictive now. Okay, last go. Last go. It's now or never, said Elvis. It's now or never. Come hold me tight. Come on now. Step on it. Step on it, you fool. Third time lucky or unlucky. This will be my last go. If I don't do it this time, no one will say goodbye. But uh, I've already been playing it over about 25 minutes. Oh, God. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, look. You can't afford this this stage six. It seems to me that you can't crash into anyone. If you do it if you crash into them once then it's you might as well restart the stage. You need to keep on the track the whole way round. Up into seventh. But I don't know though, maybe I get a bit of luck. Need to find sixth place quite quickly here before we run out of racetrack. There's sixth. Oh yeah, he lamp posted it, isn't he? Oh uh, no, look at that. We're back at the back again. It was going it was going so well. So what can we say about this game? Well, I, I think I probably said it already really. Um, cheesy story, but great cutscenes, great frames of animation, great graphics, great sound, lots of different stages. It's blooming awesome. That's, uh, that's what I think about it. Um, I, I've reviewed quite a lot of homebrews, but this, this takes the biscuit, as I don't qualify uh, yet a, again. Well, you know, hope you like to have a look at that game. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It's Travel Through Time, Volume 1, Northern Lights, on the ZX Spectrum 128K, uh, published by the amazing Zosia Entertainments in 2021. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or homebrew, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome, and I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.